The class of 2015 at Centennial High School had a composite SAT score of 1797, the best in the county and one of the best in the state. The school's principal is more than pleased with the progress. Um, they say that if you score 1650 or higher, um, that you will be college and career ready. And at Centennial, we're very proud of that because we have more than 70% of our seniors scoring more than 1650 on the um, SAT. Howard County students made progress across the board. The county's composite SAT score was 1656, up six points over last year. Reading was up two points, math three points, and writing one point. Those numbers alone explain why the superintendent is putting so much stock in the SAT. It is a big deal. And while a lot of schools may not be using it to make admission decisions, they are using it to make decisions of where students will begin their coursework. At Centennial High, two members of the senior class scored a perfect 2400 on the SAT. It definitely sets me apart, so to speak, in getting into college just because um, like there are so few of us. So they say for the Ivy League it has to be the score has to be between 2250 and 2400. But being among the cream of the crop is anything but easy. I thought that I had gotten a vocabulary question wrong, so I had been freaking out for three weeks waiting for my scores to come back. But um, it turns out that like um, the curve uh, allowed one mistake, and so that was my one mistake. Schools like Centennial are already making plans for next year, and the next date students sit down to take the SAT. Um, now, in recent years, the number of students taking the SAT has declined, both nationwide and here in Maryland. Live in the 11 Newsroom, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.